Two of the top teams in the Italian Football League set for a showdown Monday night. Can the Guelphie do something no other team has been able to do this season? Hand Milano its first loss of the year. Justin Feldkamp, Nick Eyed, and Rob Sims preview Monday's matchup. All right, guys, we are ready for not only the game of the week, but what we anticipate should be the game of the year between the Florence Guelphie and the Milano Seaman guys. 6-0 Seaman against the 5-1 Guelphie, Nick. Yeah, we've been waiting for this game. We get to see the vaunted rushing attack for the Firenze Guelphie against, you know, a, really a past-dominant team in the Milano Seaman. And this game we've been waiting for. Can't wait to see these two take off. Rob? One versus two, Monday night. I'm looking for the slugfest. Um, I love these kind of games because we get to see, you know, who's, who's the real, who's the pretender. Luke Zaratka, I think he is a contender. He is definitely not a pretender. 24 touchdowns and just four interceptions. Nick, his go-to target, Markel Castle, 723 yards receiving and 12 touchdowns, roughly half of Zaratka's production. Yeah, if you're the Guelphy, you've got to figure out a way to stop Markel Castle. I think if you can take Castle away, Zaratka will make a few mistakes. He's not going to beat you with his feet. And if you can get him to throw a couple interceptions, which he'll do, then they have a great shot at winning this game. Rob, the Guelphie, as we mentioned, 5-1. and one. They can put up the points as well. They've scored at least 35 points per game in every single game except for one. Yep, and most of that's done on uh, from rushing the ball on the yep. ground. Uh, the problem is they got to go against the Milano Seaman defense, and it's not going to be easy. All right, as here's the statistical comparison. These teams both can put up the points. The Seamen have given up 13 points and 15 points in the last two games, Nick, which is somewhat atypical because the first – month and a half of the season they were giving up less than a touchdown a game yeah well you're right and you see it there and i think this is the first time where they're going to see a truly physical running game in the guelphie's offense and i think it's going to create some problems for them yeah 15 20 points however just not going to get it done they need to score a lot more points against luke he's going to light it up and the importance of this game because these are the top two teams in the standings but if the milano Seaman can get that win. They go to 7-0, and a two-game cushion as we approach the postseason and the all-important top two seeds get the bye. Yeah, you're exactly right, Justin. So this, again, is a critical game for the Guelphie. They lost the head-to-head -head game with the Parma Panthers, who's currently the number three team. So if they end up with two losses and the Panthers end up with two losses, the Panthers get that second bye, which the Guelphie desperately won. Rob, you've been in plenty of big games at the college and the NFL level. When it's Titan versus Titan, what do these games typically come down to? I think it just comes back to Will, who wants it the most, and technique. Who's, who's the one that in, the, um, in, in a fight like that can just rely on their fundamentals? Gotcha. For Rob and Nick, I'm Justin. Back to you guys at Sports Nightly. We're looking forward to this one on Monday night.